Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside the Him. All right, you guys, so last week I promised you a whole uh, first impression Friday just on the new Rubik's collection from Paper Cut Patterns. If you aren't familiar with Paper Cut, I wanted to show you this little part of their website that kind of is their about section. Um, so they are a New Zealand based pattern design house that celebrates the combination of women's individuality and eco-friendly fashion. And they focus on a freedom of expression and body, positive body image. They are dedicated to creating fashion with a consistent premium quality and unique signature style. So paper cut has been around for as long as I've been sewing and they always have really unique uh, designs and something that really stands out from the rest of the indie world, which I really love. I know that We've been talking a lot about indie patterns lately, and I think our biggest complaint um, in the comments and sort of what I see as well is just how basic some of them can be. Basic, but then also expensive, which is really kind of odd. So you can see that their patterns are probably the most expensive that are out there, $30 just for the pattern. I think that that is for the actual paper pattern that's mailed to you. The PDFs we'll look at in a minute to see uh, what their pricing is, but they do have really beautifully designed uh, paper patterns. They come in almost like a cardboard that disassembles so that it can hang. It like almost has like a little hanger on it. It's kind of hard to explain, but it is very thoughtful and, and the paper that it's all printed on and everything is very nice. So I don't want to say that $30 is like totally reasonable. It's still crazy, but at least you get a little bit more than maybe what you're used to, especially with the big four patterns. Okay, so next we have the slacker jacket. Real quick before I forget, let's go to the PDF version. So the PDF versions are 20 bucks. So just to get something that you have to print at home is still only $20. For that $10 difference, I don't know, I might just get the paper one. Um, anyways, okay, so this is called the Stacker Jacket. Uh, a jacket of all trades. This is your everyday utility button up in a cropped boxy fit with a choice of flapped inseam pockets or oversized patch pockets to carry all your essentials. The stacker is fully lined and features a dropped shoulder and a classic collar. It's as versatile as a Swiss army knife, really. Okay, mid to heavyweight cottons, linens, corduroys, wools, and blends. And here are our line drawings. It's interesting that it's fully lined. You would expect for kind of a utility jacket to not be lined, so that's kind of nice. I really love this, um, what is that, cheetah print with the pink? That's really cute. Um, here are a bunch more pictures, but I think that they, weren't they rotating through them? Oh, here we go. Wow, that part, that one looks very oversized. Almost too big. Cute from the back. Yeah, so you can see it's got the drop shoulder and then is really full through the bust, but actually kind of semi-fitted through the hip, um, which is an interesting proportion that they are building on. She is looks to be like smaller through the hip, so hers looks a little bit baggier um, through the hip. It's just a straight cut, so if your body is, you know, more uh, curvy on the bottom, then you know, it's going to fill that out a little bit more. It doesn't look like there's a cuff on the sleeve. So that's interesting. There's that really cute picture again. All right, back to the beginning. All right, well, there you go. So here are the sizes. Let's go to inches. It goes from a 30 inch bust to a 46 and a half inch bust. Uh, the waist is pretty much negligible, and the hip is 32 to 48. So you can tell that there's not a lot of ease in the hip at all. Um, for reference, I'd probably be like a 4 in the bust and like a 7. That's one, two, three sizes different. 
So I think what happens is if you make, if I were to make this straight size seven, this is what I'd end up with. And that looks just a little bit sad and frumpy, kind of like her expression. And look how long the sleeves are too. This is just way too big for her. Um, so I would try and, I don't know what I would try and do. This is whenever I get real frustrated. It happens in big four patterns too, but yeah, I don't know. It, I, I guess it being oversized in the bust already isn't going to help it look uh, a lot more tailored on me. That's just not the look that this will be. Here's some finished garment measurements. Um, finished bust. So you can see that the, yeah, the bust ease is like nine and a half inches. And the waist ease is, what would that be? 15 inches? That doesn't seem right. Some of these girls do not have a 15. This is not a 15 inch waist ease or hem ease or hip ease, whatever you call it. So yeah, you might have to play around with this one a little bit, but it is kind of cool. All right, next up we have something called twist pants. Our take on the cigarette pant, a classic with a twist, quite literally. These slim-fitting, mid-rise, tapered leg pants are a true wardrobe staple featuring a twisted side seam, fly front, inseam side pockets, and flattering back darts. The twist pants will be your loyal companion for business meetings as well as everyday adventures. So you can see the seam that they're talking about here. And this is a really good photo of it, although it's in white, so that's hard to see. But there is, this is the side seam. So it goes from the slash pocket down to the center of your leg and then back toward the front of your ankle again. That's the only seam that there is. So that's really cool and interesting. White on white. Oh, and now we have black. Like, that's any better. Yeah, I can't really see much of anything here. Okay, here we go. Here's some gray-ish ones. So, of course, on a slim figure, they look lovely. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just don't know how I would even begin to alter these. I mean, I guess you do a full seat adjustment like you normally would. And then for everything else, I'm not exactly sure. Do you just treat this as if it were? Yeah, that might be difficult to grade between sizes. So here's our body measurements. Um... Are these the same as, yeah, they're the same as the last one. I don't see how, I guess, I guess this is their standard size chart. Okay, that makes sense. The finished garment measurements. We have a waist here and a hip here. So actually I would fall pretty close to the same. So I might not have to grade. This seems to be kind of curvilicious already, which is great. Um, and then here's the length, and then here's the inseam. Interesting. You know, a lot of my fullness around the hip is in the back side, though. So I don't know if that would create a lot of bulk in the front and then kind of tightness in the back. But they are recommending 2% stretch wovens. So that does help a lot in terms of um, comfort when you're wearing pants. So there you go, the twist pants. All right, next we have the Nexus blouse. The versatile long sleeve blouse can be worn with its V-neck button up feature to the front or the back. So it's like reversible. Uh, choose between a shirt tail hemline or a cropped straight hem and select your favorite sleeve option, a wide airy shape or a cuffed and gathered sleeve with a button fastening. Whichever you, whichever your preferred style, the Nexus will be your go-to blouse for any occasion. So yeah, the little like reversible flip around blouse. That's kind of cool. I love this sleeve. Here it is at uh, tied. 
and cropped. The sleeve length is a little bit odd. And then there it is twisted around again. I'm not sure about what I think about that. Cute in the back, I guess. All right. There's the full cuffed sleeve, which actually I really do like that. And then there it is turned around again. Uh, uh gosh, I don't know. I don't, do we have to turn everything around? Like, can we not just like wear the front of the shirt facing the front? Like, I think that I like all the versions of it where the buttons are in the front. And I don't really like any of the versions where the buttons are in the back. So I guess if I made this, I would just wear it like a regular shirt where buttons in the front. Um, but I mean, I guess good to know that I could flip it around if I wanted. Um, and it allows you to do that because the shoulders drop. There's not, you know, an inset sleeve really. Um, so your shoulder, you know, and your, your back shoulder and all of that that normally needs a lot more fabric isn't really um, coming into play with this design, so. All right, so finished garment measurements here. Uh, they give us the length and the sleeve length. So nothing for the bust or the hip, which, I mean, this again on her looks very full and like lots of ease, but when I saw it on the brunette, this is not a lot of ease. Um, and this is a problem that I have with ready to wear tops is that they are cut sort of straight um, with a longer shirt tail hem that just does never fits over my bum. So I would have to look into that, you know, circumference to see if it would, if it's wide enough. All right. But in general, I think it's a really kind of cute design, pretty simple and straightforward to sew. I'm sure, um, folded under hems, you know, a few buttons, maybe elevate your skills with this little cuffed sleeve. But other than that, pretty straightforward stuff. All right, we have the array top or dress. A statement, dress or top that offers many variations to suit your personal style. For the sleeves, you can choose between a big bell sleeve with elasticated hem and a wide straight shape. Then make your dress with the straight cut body or add in the extra long wraparound ties to cinch in at your waist. You have the same options for the top, but you can also add an elasticized hem to turn your array into a cute jumper-like top. Okay, let's look at some of these. Here's the line drawings. Here's the elasticated sleeve, again with the drop shoulder. Um, and then here it is with the belt and the bell sleeve. And then there it is without the belt, and here it is with the belt. And they're recommending lightweight woven knits, cotton, silk, linen, or blends, or even medium weight jersey knit fabrics. So here's the dress. This is actually the most flattering thing I've seen this model wear. Again with the sleeves. They're like always just a couple of inches too short on her. Um, so yeah, a little on the basic side. I mean, the sleeves do elevate it a little bit, but everything else is pretty much a beginner basic. There's the top in all white. Here's a black version of the top. This is kind of discerning why is it's pulling away from her neck, even in the back. It's pretty much standing straight up. So that's interesting. Maybe the fabric was too thick. Um, and then here it is in like a chambray, really. Are we going to get to see any of the dress without the belt? No, which is interesting. Um, huh, okay. So there's that. <laughs> we don't get to see it styled without the belt. I wanted to see what kind of shape it was naturally, how much of an A-line it had, but they're not going to show us that. So, okay. Um, all right, so here's a bunch of finished garment measurements. The 
hip measurement is what I wanted to see. It's actually fairly generous in the hip. So yeah, well, it's pretty generous all over actually. Um, I mean, seven inches of ease in the bust and six and a quarter inches in the hip on the lower end. So it's a lot, but also not, I mean, it's a lot for the bust, but actually not that much for the hip. It's a pretty slim fitting skirt, all things considered, especially given how voluminous the bust is. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, that's the array top and dress. Now we have the axis dress and skirt. Cute neckline. All right, our timeless ode to Audrey Hepburn features a vintage inspired straight neckline and waist ties that can be wrapped around to tie at the front or fastened at the back to form a plunging back. That's cool. You can choose between a figure hugging pencil skirt with front split and an equally classic flattering A-line silhouette with the option to make either the entire dress or just the skirt from this pattern. You'll have plenty of outfits for your own breakfast at Tiffany's. Okay. So here is just the skirt, just the skirt, excuse me, not quite A-line when you have a fuller hip. Um, it's definitely pulling in a little bit. Here's the dress, which is really cute. Let's see the back. That's really fun. I can't tell exactly how it's like a wrap, a backwards wrap. But I do love this squared off neckline with the little skinny strap. I like that a lot. Oh, here's an alternate way to tie the back instead of wrapping it around. You can just tie it in the back. And also this is the difference between the A-line skirt, A-line skirt and slim skirt. Slim skirt. So maybe that's the slim and not the A-line. Both slims. Nobody's wearing just the um, A-line skirt. So thoughts on this. Thoughts on this. Um... I think it's very cool and interesting uh, and thoughtful. I, I do like the uh, concept of this. Uh, I would obviously be an A-line skirt girl. Um, yeah, I think it could be really great. I kind of dig it. Um, lightweight to midweight woven fabrics, linen, cotton, silk, or blends. Okay, and here's our finished garment measurements. So, yeah, close fitting bust, waist, and hip, really. Uh, again, I am between like four sizes, so that's really annoying. <laughs> uh, just because it's really hard. It's really hard to grade between that many, that many sizes. So, but it is cute. So I think if you have more of a hourglass or a boyish type shape, straight figure, um, you'll have an easier time getting it to fit. But I mean, the wrap has got to give, provide a little bit of wiggle room, right? Yeah, I think so. Cute though, okay. Next, sequence, blouse, and dress. Whether worn as a dreamy blouse or dress, the sequence can be styled in multiple ways. Wrap it at the front for a timeless classic or wear the crossover at the back for a surprising silhouette. The flutter shape adds some fun to your classic three-quarter sleeve and you can wrap your ties to the front, back, or side for an instant style update. Okay, so this is a wrap dress with flutter sleeves. Okay. Wow. So it's like a crop top. This looks really short. There's the dress. 
we actually finally have some version of a set-in sleeve, although I feel like hers are, is the her shoulder is too wide, but still we are trying to have a real sleeve here, so that's good. And the flutter isn't really the flutter that I think that we all are thinking of. This is pretty much like a bell, just an elbow length bell sleeve. Um, they definitely had to tack it here. You can even see where they did that right there. Um, and a wavy seam here. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of pretty. There aren't any darts or anything back there. So that's all just built into the side seam. Yeah. So that's, this is whenever it gets tied to the back. I mean, that's a little bit better, but still not feeling it. And I can't tell if it's the fabric. Yeah, here's a lighter weight one. Do we like this more? It also seems longer now. I don't know how that happened. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is probably a fabric situation. Just like, you know, the linen or whatever it is they're using is just really lightweight. And, you know, that's what it looks like whenever you do a little rolled hem, you know, on a lightweight, gauzy linen type fabric. That's fine. Um, the style of it, I think the sleeve is really throwing me off. Um, and the, the really long ties, I'm not really understanding. I don't not like it, but I'm not spending $30 on it. You with me? So we have that. Um, I'm guessing the size chart is pretty roomy all around. Yeah. Although we only get a bust and lengths. So there's also that. Okay, and then here are the PDFs. So yeah, those are our six new patterns from Paper Cut. Uh, pretty much right on par with what I expected from them. Like I said, a little bit of like a funky take, a uh, little bit of a elevated design, especially from some of the stuff that we've seen um, from the indie pattern companies, you know, here lately, especially the really, really small ones. Um, but I do think that if these kinds of styles are your style, you're going to get a really quality um, pattern. I just, there's a lot of drop shoulder, which I don't really love. Um, and then the two that had like actual sleeves or, <clears throat> or sleeveless, without the two that did not have a drop shoulder um it just didn't really stand out enough for me but i'm dying to know what you guys think of these six patterns i'm curious to know what you think of spending thirty dollars on a pattern um and oh wait let's see okay well that makes it a little bit better my bad so it's actually $19.14 once you convert it. My bad. I didn't realize that it wasn't in U.S. dollars. So still, 20 bucks for a blouse. What are you guys thinking about that? The PDF is $12.76, so right at $13. Um, so yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys think of the prices uh, and just what you think of the designs and if the two kind of go together. Does one justify the other? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, hope you enjoyed my first impressions of the Rubik's collection from Paper Cut Patterns. I will be back next week with more of my off-the-cuff thoughts. Hopefully we'll have something from Butterick or Simplicity or Berta Style. I think those are the ones we're waiting on winter collections from. So I'll be back very soon, but thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all soon. Bye!